this is um, a green that's one mile long. On this green, you have banks like this that are too high. First day, if, they're, if they were angled properly, it wouldn't have cost a huge amount. There are 300 trees scattered in positions that are just outrageous. You have 85 poles. If the trees were put around the poles, it would have softened the look of the poles. I think made it make them more attractive. This wall then has to be strimmed as one mile long. This is a bank that my council landscaped. If they'd put it in at a slightly sh not so steep angle, you'd be able to mow it with a mower uh, instead of a hedge cutter, which costs away more. This is the latest um, piece of landscaping done by my council. This kind of stuff was all right when you were cutting grass with like, in horses and gang mowers, but this bank is too high to be mowed with a mower, so it's going to have to be um, strimmed for decades to come. Rather than doing it right the first time and it being cheaper, they continuously waste manpower this way. This is a design for roadside. At the minute when council are cutting the roadside, they stop the traffic. There's two men flagging, whereas on our roads there's a lot of banks on the side of the road and if they angle the banks in such a way you could get a flail more up in it, you'd be able to drive along it, traffic could flow away. This specific design is a design for um, efficiency, where you put your hedge on the inside, your signs behind the hedge. This particular one, there's a lock here, but it's a round peg in a square hole, and you could push that out of the way in order to cut it with a hedge cutter, and then trees behind it. An awful lot of the, road, an awful lot of the landscaped areas, the large landscape areas, they seem to design a huge amount of unnecessary work into it. This would save all that. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now. This is an example of efficient design where you cluster your trees in one position and if you had a light you'd put it in this position as well. Thank you. I always thought this was a lovely idea to make a feature out of your poles and your obstructions. Rather than standing there kind of cold, this really softens them I think. When you plant stuff around poles, it kind of softens the look at them, makes them easier.